We are tonight's entertainment. I only have one question. Are you ready? Ask me a question. Okay, two trains are traveling at 60 miles an hour, one from Chicago, one from Los Angeles. We gotta think in our fucking stream. We gotta think in the fuck out of that stream right now. Shit is serious out here. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Here we go. It's October, bitches! What's up, everybody? Hey. Hey. Welcome to Center Sundays. I uh, didn't screw the name up this week, so that's already off to a rocking good start. Woo! What did you fuck up last week? Yeah, I called it like Sunday Sinners, or yeah. I fucked up. <laughs> uh, as you can see, Hell Entertainment, we are doing a Carve Your Way to Hell pumpkin carving contest. We like you to carve pumpkins. Send pictures in, chance to win prizes, chances to go up against the Hell Entertainment crew and their pumpkins. One of our judges will be Raven from Raven Black. Woo! And also confirmed today, we will have Stray from Sky Swamp Orange Woo. as one of our judges. So be on the lookout for that. You can find all the details at hellentertainment.com or hellentertainmentfacebook.com as well. Also, coming up in October, October 30th, 31st, and 1st, uh, the End of Days Tour is End of Days Tour with Saliva, Dave Ellison, uh, Scoops of Mischief, and Diego will be out there running around, taking pictures, possibly throwing t shirts, possible nut shots. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen in the, mm -hmm. in the evening? Um, also, two of our friends, Dave Sharp and Opus from Dead by Wednesday, will be joining Dave Ellison on stage to that, to that tour, drumming and playing okay. guitar. So that is pretty kick ass. Road trip. Road I trip. Can't, I can't go to Texas. Road trip. I can't go to Texas. Who says you can't go to Texas? My child on Halloween. Um. And the lady who lives upstairs that's connected to my other. That's ring. also true. Anyway, <laughs> you can find us today streaming on. I bet they're still trick or treating in Texas. Yeah, family probably. road trip. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Bars. He's like, shut up. I'm trying, trying to get through this. God <laughs> damn it. Oh, you can find us also streaming at Hellfire Radio Facebook, Hell Entertainment Facebook, Hellfire Radio YouTube, Hell Entertainment Twitch, and Hellfire Radio Twitch. Good job. Jesus, that's a mouthful. You did a good job. That <clears throat> was quite the mouthful. I'm proud that of you. Was. You ready? I guess. Bang. <laughs> October hey. means a new demon of the month. Welcome, Ashley from A Grace Photography. You've seen her here almost every Sunday next to me, fighting yeah, me, punching me, elbowing me, <laughs> keep me on my toes. But yes, Ashley is Hell Entertainment's demon of the month. We are going to embarrass her pretty good today, hopefully, because she loves to I'm talk ready. about herself. <laughs> I, yes, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What's up, everybody? How are we doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Um, before we get going, we would like to mention Hellfire Rito is sponsored by Revelation Inc., Evil Expo, and Villains Arts Tattoo. Make sure you check out them. You can find them on hellfireradio.com and in our show notes as well. So, we are here. We're here. This looks a little loud. I'm turning it down. All right. Well, Kunia Tatas. <laughs> As you saw in our intro, we had a, a special guest, Sam, pop in. Sure did. <clears throat> what is it about Sam that you love so much? He's so fucking He's cute. adorable. And we're going to go over Thanks. that tonight. But he is adorable. That's the biggest thing. But trust me, we will go over why tonight. But he's here. He's there. I have him over. He, I, he's all over my room. He's my favorite. So 
once I got this costume, I'm like, yep, yeah, we're going live. <laughs> um, yeah, another movie I have not seen, as we mentioned last week. You suck. Shut up. Jeff Hoffman says he's down for a road trip. He says, hello, Piper. Hello. We'll talk about that momentarily. <laughs> Azazel, yes, you did hear road trip. We'll see if I can get out of jail enough to go to the road trip. <laughs> we got a lot of people popping in the comments. Woohoo! I know. I'm this like, is great. Am thank I you, getting guys. Getting thank you. Off? Please share, share, share. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good shit that you guys do every week. We would greatly appreciate it. We do greatly appreciate it. <laughs> or can I put another comment up there? Dirty birdie, a bunch of hearts. All right, it is October. It is a new demon of the month. That's her. I hate this part. I didn't think. <laughs> that was going to put you on the spot? No, that. You knew it was coming. Well, like, yeah, you know. Hey, my monsters. You know. You can see through my monster. Oh, he's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just see that I looked at the can in real life? Like, <laughs> oh. We're in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Steph? Steph says, hello, Widow and Ash. What, no love for dicks? All right, I see how it is. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ashley, Demon of the Month. Okay, let's do this. So let's, love let's, talking about this. Let's, let's do the basics. What got you doing what you do? Um. So, obviously, I'm um, a huge concert goer. I've always... Love concerts, literally married into the whole music life, you know. I just, um, I've also loved taking pictures, and I was, you know, on my fucking, I was always the person you get like at like the phone update like two years after the update. So by the time I was like, oh my god, iPhone 8, everyone's like, cool, we got like the 10s, and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> But I would always take pictures on my phone and I would like try to like edit and shit. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. And uh, Ty actually was like, you should try for doing photography. And I just was like, I'm going to take this into do it into my favorite hobby, which is going to concerts. So here we are. So were you always the girl or the person, I should say, that was always front row at the shows, regardless of. Yes. And then snapping pictures with your phone. Mm -hmm. I was mean as best I could. Yeah, you're gonna be pushed Videos, around. Yeah, you know. When you're moshing, because she she moshes. Hard I do. <laughs> that I can that I can testify to. She's like, here, hold my camera. I'm going to the pit. I'm like, have fun. Well, okay, with the awesome boots that you have, the platform ones, you're just towering over but everyone. I so. know. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, we bring out those new boots that we just did a photo shoot with. Right. And it's a deadly force to be reckoned with. <laughs> so what was yeah. your what what was your first band? Um, my first like that wasn't local. That wasn't local. Was stabbing Westward at Fet Music Hall. Um, I was like a fucking child in a candy shop. I was like, this is the greatest thing of all time. I was like, holy shit! Not to mention stabbing Westward. It's like, I, I don't know. Like, I, a lot of people don't know that band, but they're uh, pretty fucking awesome. So check them out. So it was really cool. It was a very cool opportunity, and it was like a reunion tour show, which is cool. Okay, very cool. Now you've shot a lot of bands. Oh God! You've shot dozens and dozens and. You're gonna ask bands. me what my favorite ones. No, what's on the bucket list that you haven't shot? Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> uh, okay, well. So and now I'm gonna ask you that next question just because you brought it up. I know. Fuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's tough. That's tough. Like, mm, that's tough. Honestly, I would definitely would love to shoot corn, Marilyn Manson. Slipknot. Um, but also, like, on the flip side of that, like, Hosley. Oh, my God. I would love to shoot, like, a pop star. We tried getting you into Billy Ellis right before I know. COVID happened. Billy Ellis. I would love to Whatever. However, however whatever. They pronounce you pronounce her name. I said eyelash. We, we were there. You were going to the show. I know. And then COVID. Like, COVID. So yeah. Fuck off. Um, yeah, it's a tough question because, like, on like, I could pick someone like major from like different music genres, mm -hmm. but like, I would fucking die if I got to put my photography logo on a picture I took a Stevie Nicks. Okay, so, <laughs> I'd have to say Stevie Nicks. Well, yeah, because you, you mentioned that last week how Stevie Nicks was the one that you know brought the tears to the yeah. eyes and gave you the goosebumps, and yeah, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so now on the flip side, because you brought it up, what's the best? What, what's your favorite show that you've shot? I gotta look at my list. Yeah, I'll get the website. Okay, okay. Um, definitely, probably. This is really tough, but Chevelle. I'm, I'm gonna say Chevelle. That was at the Xfinity Center, wasn't it? Yeah. Last year. Yeah. Yeah. It was sick as fuck. <laughs> I love Chevelle. I've oh god, like my. 12 year old self was just in heaven. Like I've always loved Chevelle, loved Chevelle. So when I got to do that and their lighting was fucking perfect. <laughs> so that was a bonus. Um, I don't know, man, I've honestly had amazing opportunities and I'm grateful for all those opportunities that have come to me. Cause I've got to shoot a lot of like great, great musicians and artists and be a part of really cool shit. So that's cool. And you and I bicker back and forth about equipment and gear, and we give each other shit. What do you shoot on? Canon. <laughs> uh, 60 Mark II right now. Uh, my goal is to get to a Mark V. Yeah. Okay. Someday. Uh, 2470 is my go to lens, honestly. For sure. I, I just like I'll constantly change my lens and I'll like always go back to that one. I don't know, it's just it's really good. So for Pride someone and... for someone who before we get to the the, the funner questions, for someone who start, wants to start out and, and do photography, what would you recommend as like a starter kit? Um so I started on well I actually started on uh shoot, what was, you asked me The Cool Picks. Cool picks. Cool picks was like <laughs> For like local cool shit. The Nikon cool picks. And then um, I got a Canon Rebel T5. T5 or 6. And honestly, it was like 500 bucks, but it came with like the Nifty 50, which I shot on my 50 millimeter lens for like a while before I upgraded. Um, that's why they call it Nifty 50. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and you get like a couple lenses, batteries, like. It's the whole kit. You don't have to like constantly buy accessories. Right, right. And for someone who's just like learning, you know, I it's think it's like very, starter. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, really, any brand as far as cam cameras go, mm -hmm. whether it be Nikon, Sony, Canon, they're all gonna have a good starter kit for people to get accustomed right. to. You're 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 out, you're gonna outgrow it. Um, There's always way. constantly going to be an upgrade mm -hmm. or an update for your Canon, like I said. Nikon, yeah. Sony. For Part of me wants to try like mirrorless, but I'm a little scared. Yeah, Part of me is like, damn, those Sony pictures people get are crisp as fuck, but, but I you can get that with Nikon, you get that with Canon. So. Right, and I hear their mirrorless isn't great for video or content. I know, and I hear, I hear mix. Yeah. I hear mix, so it's like. So stay tuned if you want to know those answers at some point. At some point. All right, Christina, I've rambled on enough. I'm going to let you kick it off with something to and really <laughs> make her. Yeah. I I've got a couple good ones. All right. Totally first right one, you go. First one's a fun one. If I were to summon you via black magic, which <laughs> five items would be at each corner of my pentagram? Oh, God. Okay, summon me like from the dead? Like, Just to summon you. To so summon what five me? items would be there to get you there? Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Why can I? I can. I can pick two right off the top for you. Well, I'm gonna go with uh, fishnets and one. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably some sort of weapon. Definitely something sharp. Definitely something sharp. Um, <laughs> let's see what else. I'm gonna have to go with like just like the color red and black, like just the color. Okay. Like, I don't know. You can have any two things. That's what That's three? three, right? That's why I hate talking about myself. I have to think of things of me. I don't know. What do you think? Your camera. Camera. Oh yeah, camera is a good one. I was gonna say boots. Like, and my boots. All right, we'll go with that. Perfect. I was gonna say a pack of Marlboro lights. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's actually yeah. yeah I'll throw that in. I know you. Put the boots at fishnets in one little. Cubby. Yeah. One little corner. And then we'll sub out for the money. <laughs> I'll do <laughs> Sorry, more. Dad. And then Diggs can have his time to do. Let's see. Do, 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 do. If you are a zombie, would you rather have no arms or no legs? 
Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I'm gonna go with no arms. Cause I don't want to be that zombie that's like stuck in the same location the whole fucking time. It's fair. <laughs> like you have to wait for someone to walk by you, and if they clearly you have no legs, so they're not gonna walk by you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but then, you don't need uh, arms to bite the shit out of someone. So true. That's very it. true. <laughs> Here's a uh, an interesting one, and I'm curious if you could shoot one condiment from your belly button. What would it be? <laughs> oh, that's what you're curious about? About me? Okay. All right, I'm going to go with hot sauce. <laughs> because that can be used as a weapon. So if any condiment had to be shot out of my belly button, I'm going to go with hot sauce. So I can that shit in people's eyes. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, God. I don't, know if I, can call, I don't know if I can top those ones. I got more fun ones. <laughs> you said you had good ones. I, not as good as those. All right. I'll go with one and you can go back, Christina. If you had to eat a monkey, cat, or a dog, which would you choose and why? Oh, man. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> All right. This is going to be uh don't hate me. This is a per personal preference, people. But if I had to pick out of those animals to eat, I would have to go with a dog. Because one, people already do that. People do that. Mm -hmm. Granted, people eat cats and monkeys, but that's like considered a meal in some nations. So I don't feel too bad doing that. Okay. Um, not that I like dogs. I'm just not a huge dog person. I'm more of a cat or a monkey person out of those three <laughs> animals. So unless it's like a wolf, I don't know. That's tough. But I'm gonna have to pick that. I'm gonna Dog. Not that I would ever eat a dog or try a dog. I literally refuse to try some animals, like in general. But I love cows and they're really delicious. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. go ahead, Christina. In a world, would you rather have scales or fur? This Ooh. is all over. Um, scales. Because I think. It just looks badass <laughs> over fur. <laughs> uh, and then you're like, you got to deal with hairballs. Mm. You got to deal with cleaning yourself. Yep. Like if you have scales, you just shed off a layer. Like you're feeling dry, you just shed that shit the fuck off. <laughs> so I'm going to go with fur. <laughs> For it, definitely. definitely. Uh, Christina, you got more? Because my thing just crashed on me. Oh no, he stopped. This is why you write things down. Right. I usually do, but I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself. So are, you, are you a fan of SpongeBob? Uh yes, I've watched. Yeah. All right. So where are SpongeBob's parents circles, but he is square. That's not. Oh, because, okay. I have a uh, here. Here you can mash up these questions. No, 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 no. Oh. Not ones that you have. <laughs> um. Oh, because his parents are like, they're like old sponges that people keep around for like cleaning, like the stove. So they all like mashed into a ball because like when you're cleaning, you like squeeze it and like that doesn't look right. <laughs> and then you like scrub it. <laughs> it's, so they're old, dirty sponges. Right. And sponges yeah, like, have, like a newer square sponge, right? What? <laughs> Let's do the hand motion again. Um, <laughs> what breakfast cereal has influenced you? What was it? What was it? What breakfast cereal has influenced you? Has influenced me? That's a good one. <laughs> I'm on fire tonight. It's October. It's my month. <laughs> uh, in cereals that have influenced me. All right. Well, I'm gonna go with life cereal. <laughs> Pushing me to live life to the fullest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I do and love life cereal. Cinnamon's bomb. I also love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But I also love Cheerios. A little B. He's inspiring. He's in like... That's Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah. That's not regular Cheerios. All right. Well, I love Honey Nut Cheerios. He's like inspiring you to keep your cholesterol down. <laughs> So I'm all above there. 
Would you would you rather be on a <coughs> stuck elevator or a broken down ski lift? Dude. Okay, first Ooh. of all, if you people have not seen the movie called Frozen, that movie, I've seen it. Oh, I'm not talking about gross. Frozen. Okay. Three kids. It's actually based in Massachusetts. Um, they get stuck up on a ski lift. Shit goes down. It was I happened. literally did you see it, Christina? Oh, yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. I won't go, I won't go on a ski lift. I mean, number one, I'm afraid of heights. So like being stuck on that for a good like what 20 minutes going up the mountain or something, I'd be petrified and then I'd just be afraid of getting stuck. I can uh -huh. do the heights over cost. I'm way too claustrophobic. Like if like if I have to be like Oh, you have to go on an elevator? Like, I'm like, all right, I'm taking the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and no, I don't want to look for Jeff. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I don't know what something's going on, on the internet here. Not all the comments are, but floating, but that's okay. Um, is it, I think it's tough. I know. One. Do you get it? Fruit Loops? Yeah. What'd you say? I got a tough one. All right. Would you rather have to always wear khakis and only the tan khaki grows the color or you have to wear polos not in red or black? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with khakis because you didn't say I couldn't like rip them up and make them look Ew. awesome but I, I hate like the feel like that polo material not mm -hmm. a fan of and like like i don't like when things are like like no <laughs> all right i got one more and then we'll get into the rest of what we're gonna do tonight <clears throat> what are we doing tonight don't you worry about it I'm would you kidding. rather experience the beginning of planet earth or the end of planet earth well, considering we are in the end of planet Earth as we speak, uh, <laughs> I would probably actually I'm gonna go at the beginning because I feel like that shit was so much. Oh, there's headphones. So much more simpler than what it is today. So I'm gonna put Jeff's comment up here because we're gonna go into talking about <laughs> you and Piper and would you rather squirt blood or get squirted? And actually, there's a story um, with blood from her recent. I, yeah. Tell me. Is, Endeavor. So, um, we'll answer the question. We'll talk about. I didn't Piper. get to squirt anyone with blood this time around, but like getting like I'm not gonna lie, like being like drenched in blood. That's fucking awesome. So, either way, either way. And yes, I also got lost in the stairs because of the elevator situation mm -hmm. in the hotel. Oh, no, because <laughs> the, the lobby was on the middle floor, and if you went down, like. But it was like, it's an L. And I was like, oh, like level. It, it stood for lobby, not what I thought it stood for. <laughs> so I go back upstairs. That's okay. Oh, That's so okay. as you know, if you watched our show last that. week, Ashley was on scene filming uh, with our friends over at Talking with the Dead um, as Piper, as that was announced. How was your experience out there with them? And Dude, fucking wild. It's like. <laughs> very cool um yeah we're bringing a comic book to life it's a lot of like the post like the pre-work pre not post the, yeah the pre-production pre-production that's the words i'm looking for it's it's so cool to like see it all come alive and like you know be and then or, like everything just come to life like from the lighting to locations all that cool shit um I've I just laughed so hard, honestly, for like three days straight. It was a really good time. <laughs> and um, speaking of blood, you had an interesting drink out there. You thought it was coffee. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Um, so I drank Mio. This one's a little light, but as you all see, it's red. I um so Jeff Ben and I were we filmed, we had to do the same thing like 30 times and we had uh, a little break goes like go off like smoke cigarettes whatever so it's dark now mind you on wednesday it was also raining so it was pouring like the ocean's coming from the sky and like it was like a switch it was like on 
off. Anytime I was off, we're like, let's do shit. So we're like up on these tents. Just everyone's wet from the entire day. Um, so it's, it was dark. And I picked up the bottle, which I thought was mine because it was next to my cigarettes. And I uh, got a huge mouthful of fake blood. That was in a water bottle. <laughs> it's not me out. Okay. So it's just Jeff Ben and I chilling. Like everyone else is down at the filming scene, like helping, doing all the shit. And so I take, and I, the second hits my mouth, I just know it wasn't fucking water. So, oh, no. but my, like, I have my makeup all done and shit. So I'm just, so I like, spit it out immediately, take a huge breath because I start laughing so fucking, like, I know what just happened. So I can't even breathe. I'm laughing so hard. And it, like, Jeff, it like clicked with him what was going on. Cause I'm like trying, I'm like holding up the <laughs> bottle and I'm like, obviously my mouth was just red. Like my teeth, like, <laughs> cause it was like a couple of thick bloods mixed together. Oh, no. Um, yeah. Then bang the caught on. I'm just trying to get the word like water out of like water. So I can get water, like at the red out of my mouth. Um, yeah. So that happened. A lot of people are like, what did it taste like? And my response is it was very thick. It was like very jelly. Uh, <laughs> it pretty much tastes like what it smells like. Fake blood. Fake blood. Mouthful of fake blood. Um, a lot of interesting things happened, such as it wasn't stuck in the elevator, but was, uh, I don't know. Jeff forgot to hit the button to go to the next floor. So <laughs> <laughs> we were in the elevator for a little bit. It was just it was really fucking funny the whole time. Like it was a good time. Um, it was actually way more relaxed and like chill. It wasn't like uptight or tense at all. That's cool. It sounds like, yo, let's go film on a movie. And you're like, wait, what? So it's like, I don't know. It's cool, <laughs> but it was a uh, good time. Good time. Thankful for that opportunity. Can't wait to keep keeping on with it. <laughs> um, internet would stop freezing. Are currently going in and out with freezing and not freezing. Yeah, I see it. Okay. They went to the Can you have... hear us? Can you still hear us? Yeah, we can still hear you. Uh, you just keep okay. freezing in and out. So if you want to roll with it, we can. No, no, we're going to um, roll. So Tyson, the pop blood the caps blood capsules you put in your mouth uh fake blood actually tastes less worse than those because i've put those in my mouth as well so you know i usually like to make cool. fake blood out of corn syrup and then you put chocolate in it and red food coloring but then to make it taste a little bit better um you just do um like mint in oh. it and it's chocolate mint. And that's how I make my fake blood. Chocolate. All I right. Like that. All right. So let's get into uh it's Halloween. It's October. We're talking about uh let's get into our our, our horror characters that we all know and love. Should we quickly yeah. go over uh fourth kind, how we liked it, review on it? Because that was last two weeks ago, that movie. I didn't do my homework. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I've seen the movie, but I didn't like recently watch the movie. So we made it to do. But it. you know what? Honestly, I can tell you right off the bat, wasn't one of my favorites of all time. There's just so many movies that are like that that were better. So. I did like that it did have the it. old clips in it. I will say, and I am curious to find the actual interview that they're sharing because she does look like she hasn't slept in days or weeks, um, but. I would rather see the actual videos than the remake of what they did for each scenario. Because that was based on a true story, though, wasn't it? Correct. I saw that much. Sorry, I didn't know my phone was on. Rude. Oh, <laughs> We're on Twitch. Don't forget. We're live on Twitch, and we pay attention. We talk to you. We're everywhere. We're on right. Twitch. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're frozen, but We're in your okay. house. Sunday family dinners. We're there. We here. We're here. We're here. We can hire us for family dinners. <laughs> <laughs> we make them fun. And or awkward. I will, come, I will come dressed up as Sam again. Alrighty, All right. So let's get into let's, it. Let's do our uh, top five least favorite horror characters, or, or as I have it listed, 
my awful five. I'll go first. You want to go first with your awful, your awful five? Yep. Because you know we're going to fight? Yep. I never have loved Hellraiser, and I... Hang on, hang on. Is that from one to five, which is, like, your least... Like, is, no. Is it's tough like, to say, like, that these are, like, there's an order for either or. All right. Then just run, just run them down, then. But I'm going with Pinhead. We're done. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, well, I think we're still frozen, but hopefully this will catch sure. us. As you okay. can see, there's, oh, I'm holding a figure of Pinhead. That's right on Diggs' desk. It's also on my leg. It's also on your leg. It's, it's the size of my calf, which is the size of a tree trunk. Yep. So, <laughs> I don't I just, like, it just didn't get me. Just didn't, which, okay. it's all right. It's all right. We're opinions. Teach their own. Uh, this one should be very interesting for viewers, I feel like. Um, it's not that I don't like Freddy Krueger. It's just that there's so many other horror movie characters that are scarier to me. And like the nightmare thing, like I get that. Like I've Rot row. And I think they are gone currently. I still see it rolling. This is what I'm, like, I'm not gonna put them on my top. We just lost you guys. No, we lost everybody. We're just we're in and out tonight. The internet. I think there's a storm rolling through actually here tonight. It's supposed to be raining tonight, so we apologize if we are flickering. Yeah, Can you hear us? I can, you well, you just cut out for a little bit. Um, oh. So I was sitting here and I was giving hearts to made a little sign, give hearts to unfreeze them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you hear what I said about Freddy Krueger? No. So I heard oh, no. oh. Damn it. Shit. So <laughs> Freddy Krueger was her number her, was her next one of her top worst. Okay. And I said, it's not that I don't think he is like he's there's scarier horror characters out there to me. Um, I love the storyline, don't get me wrong. Like it someone who has nightmares, I get it, it's a great concept, but there's just better out there you know to me so. all right what's number three um annabelle i don't get the whole i dolls are can be creepy and are creepy i get that um that was the conjuring right it was part of that yeah the conjuring yeah. series yeah yeah those movies are great i love the conjuring series it's funny because we're in fast forward super fast forward, yeah. <laughs> we're watching it live that's funny. and it's like <laughs> Catching Super time out. lapse. Anyways, um, and like I, I don't know, the demon possessing the doll thing, it just doesn't catch me. Like she's creepy. Like I don't want to be sitting in a, in a room with that doll staring at me. Hell no. But I'm down. Well, I basically have her in one of my closets, one of yeah, the original yeah. ones. So but we're fine. Like, I could be surrounded by creepy dolls. I'll be creeped out, but I'm not like wicked scared. And that brings us into Chucky, honestly. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. Like a little murdering doll. Like what? And then bring in Tiffany. Like they're just so cute. I just kick them. They're just so cute. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Um, and then this one's kind of random, but Alien. Um, I think those movies are like, like they're badass. They are considered hard movies, but they're just like, they're fucking badass. You know what I mean? So yeah. they're not like to me like a horror movie. And that's my uh, at least five. Uh, that was really hard. That was hard to come up with at least five. Honestly. We're frozen in time again. People okay. aren't give, people aren't giving enough hearts. Or, or shares. shares. I made another one that says give a share and it will unfreeze you guys. Oh, wait, we're we're unfrozen. Thank you for the shares and hearts. We're unfrozen. Woo! Woo! For now. <laughs> All right, I'll run down my uh, my awful five real quick before we freeze again. Um, Benjamin Willis from I still know what you did last, or I know what you did last summer. Eh. That's a good one. See, now this brings up my point, and where this topic was really hard because you there's away. so many like subgenres of horror characters: serial yeah. killers, yeah, you know, monsters. This was tough. This was tough. Um. One, that movie was horrible in general. Oh, I like those movies. I mean, Jennifer Love You, it was the best part of that movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, my next one was uh, 
Samara Morgan from the ring. That's fair. She was the girl who popped out of the well and threw your TV. Oh, isn't that Sadoko? Yeah, I I said Samara Morgan. I don't know if that's her real name or. I think it's like Sadoko or something. But. I get that. Um, Norman Bates was my nephew from Psycho. What? Yeah, I didn't really yeah, didn't do nothing for me. Damn, that was like one of his best roles. I feel like. Ghostface from Scream was my next one. Yeah, the I enjoy Scream movies, but they're not. But that it's a serial killer. Yeah, He's but a serial killer. Just, and then uh, Christina, we're gonna fight on this one. Chucky. I said Chucky. I said Chucky too. Oh, nice. So we're gonna fight Christina. He's so fucking cute. He's a fucking doll. He's just so cute. I know. You saw this in a different another show of ours too. I know. Like I can just yeah. fucking shoot them. I'll just curb stomp a little shit. It's okay. All right, run down yours. All right, so I have the thing because that movie was just god awful. That's fair. I, I also had Sudoku. Sudoku. Put the numbers in the right boxes. Uh the ring. <laughs> uh, Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> I also have the Leprechaun. Those were, I think were the, fun, I think. Those were the first, I guess you could say, besides like Jeepers Creepers, those were the first ones I ever like was able to click to and keep on TV. Um, but they just never really got to me. Um, and then, so one, two, three. Where the hell are all my marks? Um, oh. I can add one more. I was going to say, oh, it's right here. Maria Rossi from The Devil Inside, the mm -hmm. girl that's in like the mental hospital. Mm -hmm. Her. No, and no, then no. I am going to switch one because I actually found out that this was categorized into a horror movie and I I was surprised. The High Priest Emo Pet, e Emo Ted, Emo Tep from The Mummy. I almost put the mummy on the list as well. That's like going through, the, like, Jaws is a horror movie. Like, that's honestly one of the greatest horror movies of all time, in a lot of people's opinion. Personally, not mine, because I still swim in the ocean. But for years, people stopped swimming in the ocean when that came out. Mm -hmm. So it, it had a huge impact on real life. And I think that's, like, pretty cool in, like, horror movie life, you know? For sure. All right, top five. Sorry, I'm trying to read the comments because I'm like, I don't go. Yeah, we're behind on comments, Hi, guys. We I'm appreciate sorry. you all. I'm trying to keep up. We got comments like, in there from bad. Twitch. We got comments in there from YouTube. We're all over Fair the place tonight. Again. What's that? Share um, it out again. I did a top five, man. I have a, I have way more. You than got five. like a one A and a one B. You like put subcategories. I, I did. <laughs> well, we're just starting right off the bat here. Jason, yeah. <laughs> he's a he's badass motherfucker, dude. He's just like hey, you've met one of the Jasons. I'm coming. I know, Derek. That was so amazing. That was so cool. I'm like, oh. He's like, come over. I'm really nice, and I'm just like, ah. Oh. He also played like Predator. All this shit. I just done with the music. I fixed our frozenness. It was because of Spotify. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Interesting. Thanks. Thanks, StreamYard. Well, but, we'll have our playlist up on HellEntertainment.com with this episode because it's a fun Halloween one. Because what I wanted to do before we got into this was play a quick commercial. That was the intro for Inside Lemming with Diego Monday through Friday, five to six Central Time, six to seven Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. Check him out; you'll see him all over HellfireRadio.com. Back to our top five horror characters. Ashley just ran down with Jason, and I'm also going to put this in the same subcategory: Michael Myers. Is that your one A? That's my one. What that could be? <laughs> Come on! How could he not lump the two together? Michael Myers didn't even make my list. 
surprises no. me. Well, also Leatherface. So I'd kind of lump the three of them together. Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm -hmm. That's just scary as fuck. In real life. Oh my god, Hannibal Lecter. But again, that's a good one. Right, you know? Yeah. yeah, he's a badass. Um, Art the Clown from Terrifier. A lot of people haven't seen that movie, and that sucks for you. <laughs> and he, like, don't get me wrong, like, it, they, I think they did a great job. Original. Wasn't my favorite, but I get it. Um, this new one, definitely scary, scary factors in it. Um, but Art the Clown's just a psychopath. He's literally a psychopath. Lost them again for a little bit. So insert Jimmy Cricket. Oh, we're back. And All we're right. Back. <laughs> All right, here we go again. So we just ran down with Ashley's other two Bs and two Cs and nah, I said, <laughs> said four. four. So what's your last? Well, I have like two more to talk about. <laughs> oh, enough. let's go. All right, Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. What you haven't seen? Nope. They have a tattoo of. Creepy, dude. Those movies are bomb. I love those movies. I want his truck. Cheesy, but awesome. That's good, good shit. And then, like, me and Diggs are over here, like, is Beetlejuice a horror movie? Because obviously you gotta put down fucking Beetlejuice. That's a... It's mm. tough. It's tough, this whole thing. But then it's like, okay, what if we go classic? Like, Dragula... Frankenstein. It's just, you know. Count of Tratu. I get it. Like the original vampire. You know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> I got a lot of shit. Everyone knows I like horror movies. I don't know what you people want me to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um I'll rattle down my Damn Spotify freezing them. I mean, we talked about Frozen, but that was the winter. Let's not freeze this. We got, seven, again. We got 17 minutes left to go on the show. We need to hurry this shit up. We <laughs> the next 10 minutes <laughs> trying to get connect. Um, okay, my top five. Jason, Friday the 13th. Um, Derek, I knew we'd agree on that one. Derek Mears. I met Kane Hodder last year. I have both the Funko Pop signed by both of them, which is my like bomb. Yeah, uh, Freddy was in there for my top five because the whole nightmare thing. I like that. It's definitely a, a fan favorite. Leatherface. Mm -hmm. I need some like Jeopardy music. Oh, my fingers over it. Wi-Fi not. Give a shirt to unfreeze. We're on frozen again. There we go. Um, <laughs> All right, Leatherface. So we got Leatherface. My next one is Pennywise. Ooh. Yes. Even though he wasn't all that scary, I like yeah, the I think concept. he was, man. I love clowns. Um, Do you? I love clowns. I have no idea. <laughs> and my top one, of course, as Ashley pointed out earlier that I was going to fight her on, is Pinhead. <laughs> Because she showed this guy. Uh, he was he was a good find. Yes, he was. And now we are going to run through Miss Widow Black's top five, and I already know what her number one is. So, yeah, number one, Sam from Trick or Treat. Not, I mean, his killings are awesome, and then what he has under his little mask that I had on his face is like creepy, but. Yeah, I think it's fucking adorable. So cute. But he is the reason, one of the reasons why you keep your pumpkins light on Halloween. You don't blow them out and you don't smash the pumpkins because Sam will come and kill you and kick your ass. So he is the spirit of Halloween for me. I have like his outfit on him here and I have him all over my room. Um, I haven't seen it. This is his murder weapon, which is awesome. Another one I haven't seen. We'll watch it. God damn it. Okay, you suck. What's cool about those movies, that movie, it's like five stories in one movie. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's not just about Sam. 
there's other things going on. Yeah, right. once but you watch it like the second rap. time. Is it one of those movies you have to watch a bunch of times to get kind no. of no. the feel of it? No. no. I think okay. once I watch it the second time, because I saw it like the first time everything connected, but then the second time I was like, oh shit, like I didn't realize this. Um, so it's definitely one that people. I like to keep watching. Um, next is because I like the way he kills everybody, Chucky. This stupid little doll. I like <laughs> all the deaths. The I mean the deaths aren't scary, but they're comical. Right. And that's what I like about them. Um, because he's a genius with how to just kill him. Um, I have Jason, of course. I have Leatherface. And one that we haven't said, uh, Pazuzu from The Exorcist. That's the demon that possesses, what is it, Linda, the little girl? Um, I have her name somewhere on my list. But the actual demon that possesses the little girl from The Exorcist. So that is one of my tops. Okay. Interesting. That's my five. Demons aren't horror to me. You don't think so? No. No. But, but I mean, there is a scare factor there. Maybe not to I you, but like, there's a scare factor Like, to possession other isn't... Like, I get it. Like, obviously, a ton of horror movies are based on it, but it's not, like... I don't know. Like, that's, like, real life shit. Yeah. Like, that's more, like... Well, what about Jigsaw? Is Thriller the right thing? Oh, I love Jigsaw. I mean, I pulled off a badass jigsaw costume actually a couple of years ago. I was riding around on a tricycle <laughs> the, whole the whole night. Uh, Jigsaws, I mean, you, you could do that shit. You pull that shit off in real life too. Yeah, it's serial killer. Exactly. Yeah, oh, that's definitely serial killer. The other you, one. Yeah, that's like a thriller too. It's like a mind. Like, it's a mind fuck. I want to see some of your favorites that we haven't talked about tonight in the comments. Yeah, if you're still listening, I know we've been popping in and out tonight due to internet issues. We apologize. But let's see, uh, pop your comments in there of what horror movies you like. Um, I just recently watched Escape Room. See, Frozen. Great movie. Yeah, but is that Frozen like we were frozen? Or is that Frozen like oh. Frozen <laughs> movie? <laughs> Well, when you guys were frozen, yeah. I go, listen, I know we talked about frozen, but that's during the winter. Can we not do it now? <laughs> right. Um, I was, what were you saying? Uh, Escape Room. The movie called Escape Room. I've, I've seen that. I've it's seen actually that. Pretty Who's that cool. I don't remember who the main actor and actresses were, but it was a pretty bomb-ass movie, I thought. That's like... Um, Oh, it's like, oh, I'm not invited. Oh my god! It's with the it's the kids, and they go over to the grandma's house. It's kind of newer. Might be invited. Or I couldn't tell you. It later. There is a scene in that movie that literally gave me goosebumps and chills. Like, the, all I'm gonna say is they're playing hide and seek, and holy fuck! Oh, oh the I visit. know what movie you're talking about. It's called, yes. it's called the visit. The visit. I saw it on. Is that on Netflix? I'm not sure. I think I saw that somewhere, and I was like, I should watch that. I went but to the theater. Yeah, that gives me straight heebie-jeebies. That was a good one to see in theater. It, it was good, but not good. I just can't stand when you go see horror movies in theaters. I'm one of those people that will die laughing when there's like a scare or somebody dies, and just there's a bunch of kids and girls screaming in it. So, I um. It's tough. Like, I like thrillers and, like, mind fucks when it comes to, like, horror, I guess I could say. Okay. Yeah, like, some, like, you really gotta, like, think, and you're like, what the fuck did I just watch? Like, The Witch. And you haven't I got you. seen that, have you? I haven't seen it, but I know what you mean. Like, you want, you like the ones that really make you think. And, and really... like, that, like, can really happen. Mm -hmm. Not that, actually, most of these movies can't or haven't already happened. I mean, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I would love to go to that house. Amityville Horror, that we talked about a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, ben said Nico Hughes from Pet Set Gage from Pet Cemetery. Oh, uh, yes. Good movie, Pet Cemetery. It was, yeah, that was a really good movie. Remake? Hey guys. Did you see Thank the remake? You, um, no. It's good. What do you guys think of The Candyman? 
Oh, I think that's a classic. They were supposed to redo that, too. They, they were. They did? They did. When was it done? Wasn't it? Didn't it come out? Where's my, uh, oh, my phone's right here playing. Oh, but I, I haven't know. seen it I in a long time, it. so I couldn't even, couldn't even tell you. I but, what's, so, say I what's so brilliant it. about that is, like, like, children even now are, like, scared. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like Candyman Candy three Man. times and you're going to get fucked up. It's like Bloody Mary. So when you say rant three times and the rant commander comes in your show? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Bad things comes in threes. What? Good things comes in threes. Not these threes. Yeah. Good things are these threes. It's my lucky number. <laughs> but <laughs> we got a few minutes left in, uh, in our show for tonight. We appreciate everyone sticking around through our Rambles. Rambles and flickerings, and we're back to our interviews next week. We have a band that I don't remember the name. I don't dare go on Facebook right now. But uh, we do have an interview next week. Also, do not forget about our pumpkin carving contest. Yeah. I see people constantly carving pumpkins. You're posting them on Facebook, Instagram. Send them to Hell Entertainment. HellEntertainment.com. Get your We chance. have contests. You can win stuff. Win prizes. We got a good panel of judges coming on. You can find everything over at hellentertainment.com. Also, check out Hell Entertainment's Demon Closet. You can see the link scrolling at the bottom. We got a brand new Halloween merch out right now uh, that was designed by Amy, who chimed in last week. So, lots of good stuff out there on hellentertainment.com. Lots of new uh, content getting put up almost daily with interviews and uh, shit. Sh shoots starting <laughs> to come around and shit. shit. Lots of shit. So, also, after tonight, you can catch Ashley and myself over at the Center Sunday's Recap over on the Instagram of Hellfire Radio 666. Go there, like them, share, subscribe, whatever it does on Instagram. But you can catch us there around 9.30. And uh, let's, not for let's not forget, Ashley's the demon of the month. You can go check her out at hellentertainment.com, agracephotography.com. A Grace Photography 3 on Facebook. Yeah. A Grace Photo 3 on Twitter. Yeah. And A dot Grace dot Photography 3 on Instagram. Wow. That was good. Did I get them all right? I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Go me. Go me. Um, and and HellEntertainment.com. Oh, did you say that? I did. Just making sure. And we'll just recap real quick with the Saliva Tour, End of Days. October 30th, 31st, and 1st. And according to Diego, wherever he goes on Halloween, it snows. Oh, that sucks. So it's going to snow in Texas. So do you really want to go on a road trip? Well, yeah, I do. I want to go to Texas. So do I, <laughs> badly. Um, on that note, if no one has anything else, we're going to go over. We're going to cut a little bit early just because of internet issues. Make sure we get out on time. Do we have anything else? I don't think so. I think we wrapped up everything today. Uh well, if you want to join our show, we would love to have you as a guest. So write to Hell Entertainment at gmail.com. There you go. <laughs> well, I didn't know if I was going like, to miss like, a number or something. Else. No, it's straight Hell Entertainment yeah. at gmail. Easy. Uh, you can also hit up the Hellfire Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, also, one last time before we jet on out of here is Hellfire Radio is sponsored by Revelation Inc., Evil Expo, and Villain Arts Tattoo. You can find all their information on hellfireradio.com along with all the other kick-ass shows that our Hellfire does produce. And also, Live 365 app. We all got cell phones. We all got smartphones. Download the app. It's free. Get your free music. Take us with you in your pocket. You can catch up to Center Sunday Rewind on Tuesdays at 11.30. Yeah. It's a lot of shit to spit out. That is a lot to say. Also, we're on oh. Spotify. We're on Spotify. <laughs> We are. Don't forget us on Spotify. You can catch up all on your past shows there. If you don't have the viewing pleasure, you can put your earbuds in and listen to us while you're at work. Yeah. We're all everywhere. That stuff. There's no reason you cannot catch on catch us anywhere. There's no reason. No. We're everywhere They're in your slacking. ears. So on that note, I think we're gonna peace out. Oh, was I? Happy October, everyone. We'll see you next Sunday. Woohoo! Whoa, wait, what was I doing? <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Again, next Sunday. Happy <laughs> October, everybody. We will see you guys later.
Hey, what's up, man? I think it's pretty obvious right about now who you're looking at, but I'll tell you anyhow. I'm Shaggy Too Dope, the Southwest Strangler. And I'm Vina J, the Duke of the Wicked. And together we happen to be the Insane Clown Posse. And right about now, it's time to get a big, 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 fat shout out to Hell's Entertainment, their media outlet for all touring artists. They offer videography, design work, photography, motherfucking freshology. Are you a touring artist? Do you get out there and grind? Or are you a boring artist? Do you sit home and whine? Because if you're a worker, hook up with Hell's Entertainment. That's right, Hell's Entertainment. You can reach me at www.hellentertainment.com. And if you're not done with that, go to hell.